Hello everyone. Welcome to the topic Relations and Functions. Here we discuss composition of functions, FOG, GOF and inverse of a function. Show that f from closed interval minus 1, 1 to r given by f of x is equal to x upon x plus 2 is 1, 1 function. Find the inverse of the function f from closed interval 1 to 1 to range of f. Here, the domain is given as closed interval minus 1 to 1, which means any real number between minus 1 and plus 1. Complete real number cannot be taken as the domain. Domain is only a closed interval. From minus 1 to plus 1, this region only is the domain. No other number to be included in the first set, the domain. Whereas, codomain is complete real numbers. And the f, the rule given to us is f of x is x upon x plus 2. Now we need to prove that it is 1, 1 function. First of all, let's refer to the definition. What is 1, 1 function? A function f from set A to set B is called 1, 1 function or injective function f. Distinct elements have distinct images. And we have the interpretations. That means x1 not equal to x2 imply f of x1 not equal to f of x2. If there are two elements x1 and x2 distinct unequal, then their respective images will also be unequal. In other words, in case these images happen to be equal, in case these images happen to be equal, then the pre-image should also be equal. These are two interpretations of this definition of 1, 1 function. Now let's use this interpretation to check whether this fx is 1, 1 function. We'll go by this interpretation. Let f of x1 be equal to f of x2. We are checking whether it would imply this x1 equal to x2. Let's go ahead and see. Let f of x1 and f of x2 be equal. f of x1 means x1 upon x1 plus 2. And f of x2 is x2 upon x2 plus 2. Apply here. x1 upon x1 plus 2 equal to x2 upon x2 plus x2. Cross multiply x1 x2 plus 2 x1 equal to x1 x2 plus 2 x2. Like terms x1 x2, x1 x2 and the remaining terms simplify. You land up at 2 x1 equal to 2 x2. That is x1 equal to x2. Yes. When you took two images equal, that is very clearly implying that x1 is equal to x2. Hence, this function f follows the definition of 1, 1. So this function is 1, 1. We have proved, we were asked to show that it is 1, 1. Yes, the function is 1, 1 function. Now next part of the question is find the inverse of this function. Though we are not asked to prove it is onto function, we need to check whether it is onto before finding the inverse. What is onto function? A function is invertible only if it is 1, 1 and onto. So even if it is not mentioned, we need to check it. Whether it is onto. A function is called onto function if for each element taken in the core domain, we should be able to find an x in the domain such that image of that x is equal to the y that we take here. f of x equal to y. Let's see, is it possible? I am taking a numerical example 5. Let me take y as 5 in the codomain. Now, which will be the element here for which y is equal to 5? If possible, let me write x upon x plus 2 equal to 5. Is it possible x, plus, x upon x plus 2 to be 5? Look, x upon x plus 2, x upon x plus 2 
it is a ratio in which the numerator is smaller than the denominator. x plus 2 is definitely bigger than x. So the value of this ratio cannot be more than 1. So how can it be equal to 5? So we write there is no x of course in the domain. Even if it is not in the domain no x at all which will make it like this. So second part of the definition is not fulfilled. We are not able to find an x in the domain to satisfy this condition. When we are not getting x, here itself the definition is not valid for this function. So using this numerical example as a counter example, we conclude that this function is not on to. But it is interesting. The function is not on to, but we are asked to find the inverse. But notice here, inverse is not to be found for this given function. When the codomain is completely real number, we could get an element 5, an element whose image which is not an image. But look, you are asked to find the inverse of this new function. It's not same as the given function. What is the difference? Domain is the same. Look at the core domain. Complete R set of real numbers shouldn't be the core domain. You just take the range of the function f. Range of f. What do you mean by that? Range of f is set of images. Whichever x you took here, they will be having some or other images. All those images together form a set which is the range of this function f. Now, you are asked to find out the inverse of that new function which is defined from this closed interval to the range, not to the complete r. Yes. If the range is the codomain taken here, if it is redefined like this, would it be want to then? Of course, yes. Because range of f, the meaning itself says, for every y here, each element taken in the range is image of some or other x. So we will not be able to find an element like this 5 in this range, which is not an image of some or other element here. So, all of them will be images. Hence, this function f from the closed interval to real number is not on to, but the new function, the closed interval to range of f is an on to function and hence invertible. Now, as this f is defined from minus 1, 1 interval to the range of f is invertible and has a unique inverse, let's see how we find this inverse. What is inverse? Definition of inverse says, f defined from a to b has an inverse if there exists a g from b to a satisfying this condition. g o f is identity function, f o g should be identity function. So, corresponding to this f defined from this closed interval to the range, we need to get a g from range of f to this domain, to this closed interval. Such a g we should find and this g should be satisfying a condition also. GOF should be identity and FOG also should be identity function. How to get this G rule to get back the original element? 
भी गए हैं लेट वाई बी एन एलिमेंट इन दिस रेंज लेट वाई बिलोंग टू रेंज ऑफ एफ सिंस वाई बिलोंग टू द रेंज ऑफ एफ एवरी वाई इज एन इमेज ऑफ सम और अदर एक्स so that y must have been formed using this rule x upon x plus 2 so we will be able to say that y must be equal to x upon x plus 2 for some x in this interval minus 1 to 1 now what is that x which x image is that y how to get it back that is what we are looking for let's see how would we get that x back from this y how do you get the x for that we will take that equation itself and solve further y y x is equal to 2y y x plus 2y equal to x and solve for x x minus xy equal to 2y x taken common 1 minus y is a factor so x is equal to 2y upon 1 minus y so the y that we have taken here corresponding to that we are getting an x here that x we can obtain as twice of y upon 1 minus y that is what this rule says so we can obtain the x by this rule so take this new rule as gy we have got a gy now 2y upon 1 minus y this is not sufficient there may be many g rules from this range to this interval will all of them satisfy these two conditions yet to be checked let's define this g by as this rule and let us confirm this g is the inverse for that g o f must be identity f o g must be identity we are going to cross check let's find gof of any element x according to the composition of functions g of gof of x is g of f of x g of f of x means g of x upon x plus 2 how do we calculate this g of x upon x plus 2 what does the g rule say g rule say twice the element upon 1 minus the element twice the element upon 1 minus the element that will look like this twice the element element itself is this x upon x plus 2 twice the element upon 1 minus that element this is what g of this element this element is f of x f of x we used from here now we need to simplify this this numerator is 2x upon x plus 2 in the denominator we need to take an lcm x plus 2 that will give you x plus 2 minus x that is 2x upon x plus 2 minus x that is 2x upon 2 that's equal to x look any x its gof image is x itself which means gof is identity function first part is okay now we need to go for the second part f o g f o g of y is equal to f o of g y what is g y g y we have taken as 2y upon 1 minus y place it f of 2y upon 1 minus y now what does the f rule says the element upon element plus 2 x upon x plus 2 so this f of this element will be 2y upon 1 minus y is the element upon that element plus 2 f of this element this whole thing is one element that element upon element plus 2 that is what the f rule says let's simplify it further and see numerator is 2y upon 1 minus y here is the lcm 2y plus 2 minus 2y upon 1 minus y so 2y upon simplify this step gives us equal to y so we got a fog of any element y happens to be equal to y itself that means a fog acts as an identity function a fog of an element is the same element that is what the definition of identity function so a fog is 
identity function. So we got GYF is identity, FOG also identity function. Such a G if we have that G is called the inverse of F. So the G that we have used is satisfying this FOG GYF identity. Hence this G that we defined itself is the inverse of FX. So we can say F inverse of Y is 2Y upon 1 minus Y. This is the answer. Find the inverse. Here is the inverse. 